This video is about the volume candles indicator from Ninza. I actually got this indicator for free just by being part of the Ninza family. I highly recommend that you join. It's free to sign up. You can become a part of the Ninza family and get all kinds of special offers and I checked my email one day and they offered me a free indicator of my choice and I chose the volume candles indicator and surprisingly it's been one of my go-to indicators now I might not have actually spent the money on it before but being able to try it out for free and seeing how helpful it is for me and my trading I would absolutely buy this indicator I've got today pulled up June 13th Tuesday morning little glimpse of the New York session the volume candles indicator is printing these numbers and it's also printing these bar colors the other indicator I have up is the Ninza Easy Trend indicator, and that is printing this moving average line that's changing colors, and it's also printing the backgrounds. So I've been using this setup in conjunction with my regular workspace. Right now I have it on a one minute chart, but I've also found that it's very helpful on range charts and also Ninza Renko charts. I've changed a few of the parameters on the volume candles indicator. You can choose the threshold of the low and the high of the volume so that way it's not printing the volume of every single candle it's only printing the numbers of the volume within your defined threshold. So for me this is helpful it's only showing the major volume and it's kind of cutting out the rest of the noise. And you would want to change these numbers just depending on which instrument you're trading, which time frame, or if it was a range or a Rinko or something else, it's going to be different. So here we have the open at 9.30. Uh, we're already in a downtrend with the easy trend and our first candle closes with some pretty big downside volume. The way that I've found the volume candles indicator the most helpful if it's just at the start of a move and you get a big volume print I will immediately be looking to get into a trade in that same direction so right here at the close of this candle 15,092 it dropped down uh, a little over 15 points and then of course you're going to be considering higher time frames you're probably going to have some support and resistance indicators on other charts or you can add one to this chart i'm just showing you these two to kind of make it simple so when we have a strong volume it prints this darker shade of pink and if it's just a lighter shade of pink that's less volume and same with the blue the blues get darker as the volume goes up and then the other way I use the volume candles indicator is if we've been going in one direction for a while and then we get a big volume towards the end, that's often a sign of exhaustion and I'll look for a potential reversal. But when you get big volume at the top of a move or the bottom of a move, you want to start looking for exhaustion possibilities. And then the very next candle we get a big volume candle to the downside. Our easy trend has turned red. Uh, and if we look back through the morning, we definitely have more negative volume coming in. Uh, so you could get into a trade at the close of this candle, at 93 to 64 almost 30 points right there so then we kind of get some bullish volume here but nothing major market really hasn't been moving that much in the past half hour here 
So I always like to wait till there's some major motivation to take a trade. And here we get some bigger negative volume coming in. So if this big volume came in after the market had already been moving down for a while, I would be more hesitant to get in, just depending on various other factors. But if the market's been going up for a while, and then we get a negative volume candle with the larger negative volume, that's definitely a possible reversal trade that I'm looking to get in. And same if we would come down here and get a bigger volume candle to the upside after going down for a long time, that could also be a possible reversal area. So we get our volume come in, we get our easy trend turning red. Uh, we're still kind of in this range so far up here. Uh, took the break out of this low, 62, down to 16. It's almost 50 points right there. So once we're getting these consecutive bearish big volume candles, uh, once they stop, that's a good place to look for potential reversals. Uh, especially if we would have had some bigger positive volume come in down here. And then also if you're in this short and you see this, it's a good place to either get out or move your stops down lower and wait for the next move down. So here is a Ninza Renko chart, same day for the New York Open, same settings. Uh, the market open is during this candle. You can see we've got a lot of bullish volume here, but we are still below our easy trend line. And then we get some subsequent negative volume candles. But seeing this number of 26,000 versus the 6,000 and the 4,000, it makes me think that this down move doesn't have as much push behind it because we had 26,000 to the upside and if we add these two together that's only 10,000 to the downside. So at this point at the close of this candle I would still be cautious about entering a short until I saw some more confirmation to the downside and you can see we kind of bounced back up. I still never broke above this easy trend line and now we start getting some volume to the downside. And at this point, looking back for the last half hour, the volume seems pretty mixed. And selling this latest, selling a break of this latest low would be a potential option. There's that almost 50 point move that we saw on the one minute chart. So we have our consecutive negative volume candles and here's our first positive volume candle and it's a pretty big one. So I would definitely be looking to get out of that trade or move my stops a little bit tighter. The close of this candle, 51 up to 65. We got almost 15 points, went up right to this easy trend line and then we resumed our downtrend. We've got some much bigger negative volume coming in and breaking this low here and getting this huge negative volume candle uh, be a great place to look for shorts there. There's another 50 point move from the close of this bottom candle down to here. And then after a few consecutive bearish candles, we get a positive volume candle. And we're still below the easy trend but we're definitely being cautious about it continuing further south. Uh, the market kind of chops around here and then it finally does close above our easy trend line. Our background hasn't fully changed to being bullish yet right here. But then some more positive volume comes in. I'd still be kind of hesitant towards taking along right here. That's not much volume coming in even though we had a big chunk right here and we've had this big move down so far 
But once this next candle comes in, a uh, pretty big volume amount at 22,000. We've got our dark blue volume candle. We've got our Easy Trend background officially printing bullish now. This would be a great time to start looking for longs at the close of that candle. And that definitely went over 60 points right there. And then towards the top, you start seeing strong bearish volume coming in uh, at the close of this candle down to the easy trend line there's another 30 points available and right around this time it's uh, noon I usually don't trade past 11:30 or noon so most of the action happens during the New York open as far as the big volume candles although you can fine-tune these settings uh, if you are trading during one of these slower times of the day, you can change these numbers. So now it'll print it'll print candles with less volume. And that might help give you a better picture if you're trading during slower times. Here you can more clearly see the bullish and bearish volume coming in even during the slower times. There's so many different possibilities with this indicator. So many different time frames and types of charts that you can use it on and different settings that you can apply. I'm really glad I got to check this indicator out. I've been using it every day since I've got it and it's helped a lot. Uh, another indicator that I definitely recommend getting, it's a free indicator from Ninza, the bar status indicator. So on a Rinko chart, it's printing these green dotted and red dotted lines on the right side of the chart. And when you're using the volume candles indicator, when you're getting a high volume starting to build up in real time, you can see it. It'll change. Right now we've got 18,000 and since the candle is bullish at the moment, it's bullish volume. And if this candle starts going down, it's going to turn into bearish volume. So you can see a breakout above these dotted lines up here will create the next candle to the upside. And a breakdown below these red dotted lines here will create the next candle to the downside. So if you're seeing a lot of volume start to build up in real time, you know, right above this line could be a great place to put a buy order in. And right below this line, you could put a sell order in. If you start seeing a ton of volume, like right back here on this candle, we've had some movement down. And if we start seeing this 26,000 K come in, uh, we'd have our green line, you know, right up here. We could have our order ready to go. And that took off, you know, over 40 points. So I've really been liking using this volume candles indicator on Rinko charts and also range charts. It will do the same thing. It'll print these two lines and you can tell where the next bar is going to form and be able to manually put in your orders ahead of time. And this works great on other time frames as well. Uh, here's the five minute. You see we got some bullish volume coming in. It goes up and then we start getting some bullish volume up towards the top and that's when it's up towards the top of the move that's when we're looking for possibly a reversal of some kind and then when this candle comes in with some pretty major bearish volume that's a great place to look for reversal trades and uh, here it closes down below the easy trend we get some more negative volume coming in and we get a little bit more of a move down and over here we've got some major bearish volume coming in but we've already been moving down so this is more towards the bottom of the move potentially we had this big move up we came down so we'd be looking for a potential reversal somewhere when these major bearish candles stop and right here we have a bullish volume candle print and the price took off 30 points 
So the market chops around a bit and we're coming down here and we get a bullish volume candle print but our easy trend is still to the downside and this move back here kind of turned into chop so the market's not totally sure where it wants to go at the moment uh, be much safer of a trade if this candle had closed above our easy trend line and here we get a pretty big bearish volume candle but the market's already been moving down for a while so unless we have some other factors going on and a good reason to keep pushing south uh, it's a good place to be cautious about potential reversals here we get a kind of a neutral volume because the candle closed without being up or down. It closed where it opened pretty much. So we've got a yellow print right there. Then we start getting these blue volume candles and eventually it breaks out above our easy trend and continues up. Another 25 points. So lots of different ways to use this indicator. I'm definitely finding it very helpful.